Okay, in this activity, you were given information and then you had to draw your production possibility curve. Now, as you know, the production possibility curve gives us some indication of the possible combination of two goods that a society can produce when it uses its resources fully and efficiently. Now, the two goods that we're talking about is food that is measured in tons and the other good is guns that we measure in terms of millions of guns. You were then also given five combinations, A, B, C, D, and E. What this now says is combination A says, well, you can produce 40 tons of food if you use your resources efficiently and zero guns, millions of guns. Combination B tells you, well, now you can produce 30 tons of food and 2 million guns. The same combination C tells you, well, 20 tons of food and 3.5 million guns and so on. So you then are going to use this information and then you draw your production possibility curve. Now the first thing you do is you draw your axis and we have a vertical and a horizontal axis. And now you're going to name your axis. We're going to put food on our vertical axis and we call it food and the measure is tons. And then we're going to put guns on our horizontal axis. We name that axis guns and we're going to measure it in millions. Your next step is to do your intervals. Now here we can see it goes 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. So we will put 0 on this axis and then we have intervals of say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. If you look at your guns, I think we can start 0, 2, 3.5, so we, should, we will do it 0, we say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six. So 4.5 million will be in the middle between 4 and 5. Now what we are going to do is to plot this data on this uh, diagram here. And I'm going to start with the first one, combination A. It says if we produce, use all our resources, our production of guns will be zero. But as you can see, we will be producing 40 tons of food. So this will be point A then, so in combination A. Zero guns, 40 tons of food. Then we go to combination B. Now combination B says we will produce 30 tons of food and 2 million guns. So 30 tons of food, and I'm going to do this, or line like that, and we see 2 million guns. And where these two lines intersect, that will be combination B. If you look at combination C, it says 20 tons of food and 3.5 million guns. So the 20, we draw this line, something like that, and 3.5 will be here, and that will be combination C. So we do the same for combination D, it's 10 tons and 4.5 million guns. And there goes the 10, 4.5, and that becomes combination D. The last combination E says, okay, if you use all your resources to produce guns, you will produce 5 million guns and no food at all. So that becomes combination E. Then we combine these points and that gives us our production possibility curve. And so now you have a nice picture of how this table is then presented as a production possibility curve.